Well, salut brothers and sisters, and bonjour, or bon après-midi, or bonsoir, depending on what time of day you're watching this. It is Wednesday, my dudes. And welcome to Mission Zero, and this is episode 8 of The Word with Friends, and today we are going to talk about the word... Church. Okay, so back in week one, I said we were going to talk a lot as time went on about the difference between words and language. And so I want to talk about that pretty deeply today. Did you know that the dictionary does not in fact give you the meaning of words? Wait, what? I know that it says that it does, and that's where we always look for the meaning of words, but that's not actually true. What the dictionary gives you is the usage of words. And so take, for example, the word church. The Webster Dictionary gives a few different definitions for the word church. There's the actual building, there's the ruling structure, there's the body of people who go there, there's the act of going to church, there's, right, all of these words are what we mean when we say the word church, but that is not the same as the meaning of the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. The importance of, of the distinction between words and language is vast, right? Because what we say is not what people hear. And in fact, I tell uh, my employees that quite a lot, is there is a big difference between what you say and what they hear. And the what they hear part is so so much more critical in today's society. I said my keys. I thought you said printer. And so I want to talk about the word church right quick. So the word church in English is based off of a Greek word, kuriakos. And kuriakos means to be possessed of a Lord. Doesn't necessarily mean God. It's talking about just the, the group of people are owned by someone else, someone of a position of authority. Didn't know we had a king. I thought we were an autonomous collective. Well, that's pretty stilted. Is that ever what the Bible was talking about when it mentions the word church? Well, in fact, no. The word church in the Bible is the Greek word ekklesia. Ekklesia is a Greek word that is made up of two other words. There's the word ek and the word kaleo. And, uh, Ek, we've talked about before, ek means from or out of, but it's, it's a deep root of the source of an action. And kaleo comes from an older Greek word, kelo, and kelo is uh, to urge. And so what kaleo actually means is people who are urged out of their homes. Often in the Christian culture, we say that the word ecclesia means those who are called out. And we mean it by those who are called out by God. Or when Jesus said, you know, my sheep know my call, we think that's what, what he means is the sheep that respond to his voice. But that's not actually what the word ecclesia means. Ecclesia means people who have been urged out of their homes from some purpose. And so what Christ talked about is the purpose that we are urged out of our homes is a dissatisfaction with the state of the world. We're not gonna take it. Now in that context, can you understand that when I say the word church, you may have an innate recoil, right? You're, I'm not a Christian, or I don't like churches, or there's this whole culture that goes along with it. Or you may have this other prospect of you hear the word church, and it's this motivating thing, and you get to feel secure there, and there's a group that you get to feel a part of, and you're made welcome by. Neither of those things are actually true. Those are the usage of the word, but they're not actually the meaning of the word. The meaning of the word is people who are pushed away from the thing that is normal for them because they can't stand the state of everything else. And doesn't that describe far more than the people who are in a Buddhist temple or a Muslim shrine or a Christian church or a synagogue, right? 
It has nothing to do with these facilities that we go and worship at. Church is not about worship. I know that's heresy, a lot of you will think, but it's true. Worship is nothing to do with church. Church is a combined group of people. Ecclesia is a group of people who are urged to go and do something about the, the state of the world. The Apostle Paul, six times in the New Testament, says, I would not have you ignorant. He's not actually insulting people there, nor is he saying, I need this to be a teaching moment. What he's saying is, I cannot stand that I know this thing and you guys don't yet know it. My heart can't stand that there's a thing that you don't know. And I'll tell you that I, I feel that same way. That's really what caused me to start Mission Zero is... There is a thing I know, there is a, a truth that I know that just seems lost in America today. And so what is my practical, what is my call to you? What is the purpose of this video? What's the point? You are the church. You are a part of the church. If you are watching this, if you've watched this far, if you've watched any of my videos, if you care about the state of the world, more than just to sit and shake your head and say it's terrible. Damn shame what they did to that dog. If you are a person who is ready to get out of your home and do something about it, you are the church. Whether you believe in God or not, whether you believe in Jesus or not, whether you have any religion or theology whatsoever, you are the church. And the reason that the ecclesia exists is to change the world. And it starts with you, and it starts with me. And the power that we have in our combined unity, the diversity of thought and ideas and people and cultures that we can unite and bring to the world a better way to live, man, there's just nothing, nothing that could stand in the way of that. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore! Okay, so uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, uh, give me some love. Give me some stuff down in the comments if you want to talk about anything. And I really appreciate you for watching. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. If you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you would share the video so more people can enjoy it that you know. Uh, and uh, next week, I will be back with another Word with Friends. And we are going to do... We're going to do something completely different. Um, but I will also be back on Friday to, uh, to give you another flashback Friday. And this one is going to be a really good one. So I hope you tune in for those. And I love you. And God bless you. And God bless you. And peace out.